welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a topic that affects many of us, complaining. We've all been there, venting about life's frustrations, but have you ever wondered what happens when you complain every day? Well, it turns out that there may be more to this habit than meets the eye. In this video, we'll explore the impact of constant complaining on your brain, health, and relationships, and provide practical tips to break this cycle and improve your overall well-being. So, let's get started. Why do we complain? To understand why we complain, it's important to identify the underlying reasons behind this habit. Some people use complaining as a way to regulate their emotions, seeking relief by expressing negative feelings. Additionally, personality factors and social influences can contribute to excessive complaining. Those with a negative perspective or who are surrounded by frequent complainers may find themselves caught in a cycle of constant dissatisfaction. By recognizing these reasons, we can start addressing them and develop healthier communication habits. How complaining affects the brain Did you know that excessive complaining can actually impact your brain? Studies have shown that complaining rewires our neural pathways, reinforcing negative thinking patterns. This negativity makes it harder for us to solve problems and make decisions, leading to a vicious cycle of complaining. Moreover, complaining releases cortisol, the stress hormone, which puts us at risk for various health issues. The hippocampus, responsible for memory and problem solving, can also be damaged by chronic complaining. Spending time with frequent complainers can make it contagious, further impacting our brain health. Negative effects on health and relationships. Constant complaining not only affects our brain but also takes a toll on our overall well-being. When we complain excessively, it becomes harder to see the positive aspects of life, and this negativity can lead to increased stress levels. The release of cortisol puts our bodies at risk for health problems such as high blood pressure and heart disease. Moreover, chronic complaining can damage our relationships. People may perceive us as negative or pessimistic, which can strain personal and professional connections. It's important to consider how our complaining affects those around us and take steps towards positivity. Strategies to reduce complaining Now that we understand the negative consequences of constant complaining, let's explore some strategies to break this habit and improve our well-being. First and foremost, practicing gratitude can be a powerful tool. Each day, make a list of things you're grateful for, shifting your focus from what's wrong to what's right. Taking action to address problems instead of just complaining about them can give us a sense of control and empowerment. Reframing our language by using positive expressions can also help change our perspective. Additionally, surrounding ourselves with positive influences and avoiding frequent complainers can make a significant difference. The benefits of quitting complaints. So, what happens when we stop complaining? Well, when we break the habit, we begin to shift our focus towards finding solutions rather than dwelling on problems. This change in mindset leads to reduced stress levels, improved mood, increased energy, and decreased anxiety. Moreover, our relationships can benefit as well. By embracing positivity, we become more pleasant to be around, attracting like-minded individuals who share our optimistic outlook. It's not an easy task to stop complaining, but the rewards are well worth the effort. And that's a wrap for today's video on what happens when you complain every day. We've learned that excessive complaining can negatively impact our brain, health, and relationships, but by implementing strategies like practicing gratitude, reframing our language, and surrounding ourselves with positivity, we can break this habit and improve our overall well-being. Remember, it's never too late to make a change and cultivate a more positive mindset. By the way if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.